Now that we've done some organizing of our toolbars and our shortcuts, etc., once you access your drive, I know that sometimes I can be totally overwhelmed by just the amount of files that are in front of me and they're very disorganized. Some of you probably already know how to add folders and organize your stuff. Um, some of you don't, so I'm just going to walk you through uh, some techniques so that you can hyper organize your Google Drive so you can find things very easily. First thing is that what I would do is I would definitely want to put everything from last year or pro last couple of years in a folder so it doesn't get in my my big drive so everyone's going to go to the button that says new and you're going to go to folder and you're just going to add a folder now it starts off untitled the first thing i want you to do is title this folder either last year's school year dates or you can just say old lessons old handouts whatever it is that's going to denote that this is stuff from the past that you're not going to access a lot so you might say 2017 2018 school year and that's fine whatever it is it's going to let you know that this is stuff from the past and you're going to hit create now you can see that i have a lot of subfolders on my drive and that's just fine um here's the 2017 2018 folder and if you two finger tap or right click if you're on a pc you can actually change the color of that folder so that you can find it really easily i find that a little helpful um, you, if you turn the triangle down you'll see that there's nothing in that folder unlike my ferriano folder where i have actual subfolders inside you can if you want take that blank folder and create by two finger tapping folders inside that folders that might say language arts slash English and hit create and you can subcategorize your science stuff etc now think about how you learn best um, if hyper organizing and putting things in folder is not something that you can keep up on then maybe just have one folder and dump all of the stuff from the past in that one folder now you can do that of course in your drive and add stuff for every every a folder for every subject for this year so once again, the process is the same. You can go to, you can two finger tap or go to the new button, add a new folder. Make sure you want your new folder added in your drive and not in a, a subfolder or something else. And you can add a folder for each one of your classes. So let's everyone at least make a science folder for science class. And we can put all of our, our science work in it and click create and you can see it shows up now what I like about making subfolders is that when I click on my first subfolder all of my other subfolders inside that folder show up and it just helps me to stay organized so why doesn't everyone give that a try